Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup on a client and that's my beautiful friend Kathy. Today is actually her birthday. Happy birthday, sweetie. And we're going to be creating this beautiful metallic -y, gray smoky eyes. And I'm going to start by priming her face with a Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And I'm using a MAC 191 brush to apply that all over her face. And I will be applying these shadow shields under her eyes. This definitely helps with all the fallouts and especially when you're working with uh, dark color eyeshadows. And we'll be priming her lids with um, eyeshadow primer by MAC in a soft ochre using a Lancome brush number two. And next I will be taking a, uh, let's see, this one is Vanilla Bean Eyeshadow by Makeup Geek and I'm taking it on a big fluffy brush by MAC 227, just applying that all over her lids uh, just to get rid of that tackiness that we got from the primer. And filling in her eyebrows using a flat angle brush, uh, I'm going to be using a Anastasia Beverly Hills, I, let's see, brow powder in the color blonde. Just very softly, I don't want to do her brows too much. And then on Morphe brush number M441, I will be taking a creme brulee eyeshadow by Makeup Geek and just taking that into her crease. This is going to be our transition color. And then I'm taking a um, flat eyeshadow brush and I'm using a um, ColourPop eyeshadow Super Shock. This is kind of like a charcoal gray eyeshadow and I'm really concentrating on the outer corner of her eyelid and uh, you know making sure that I'm not going over her crease. Just kind of working you know building up with that color until I like the intensity of the color. And then I'm going to take that brush by Morphe M441, the blending brush, and really blend out all of the harsh edges. You know, the key here is really to blend, 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 so that way you don't end up having those harsh edges because the colors are actually very, very dark. So, and then I'm taking another ColourPop eyeshadow, and this one is in a color Liberty. And that's a beautiful metallic -y light gray. And as I told you guys before in my previous videos, I do like to use my fingertips uh, to apply this eyeshadow sometimes just because I feel like that comes on a little bit more intense and more vivid. And then I'm taking again the clean blending brush and just going back and, you know, smoothing out all of the edges so there's nothing like harsh looking. And taking a Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush E45, I'm going to grab some of the black eyeshadow. Uh, it's a matte eyeshadow. Anything that you have at home will work. I'm going to apply that on the outer corner of the lid, really just concentrating on that small area. I just really wanted to intensify and you know make it a little bit more dramatic. Um, if you feel like that's going to be too much, uh, like too dark for you, too dramatic, you can definitely skip this part. But, you know, um, I know that she's going to go out at night, you know, it's going to be an evening kind of fun, you know, birthday celebration. So I wanted to make this a little bit more dramatic. And of course, you know, you want to go back in with a blending brush and just, you know, blend out all of the harsh edges. And I also will be highlighting her under brow area uh, with a... Um, matte light color eyeshadow oh my god you guys check out this ring that I got from Express I've been looking for a ring like that for a long time you know when I'm uh, working on the client I do like to have my uh, gel liners somewhere near me so I don't have to reach out to the pot all the time so I usually would apply it to my hand which creates a mess you know while you're trying to you know uh, wipe that off and so uh, this actually you know is so cute and very very comfortable Anyway, so I'm using a ColourPop gel liner today and this one is in the color Swerve. I hope I say that correctly. 
uh, if not I will link everything down below what I'm using today uh, and also a Sigma small angle brush in E65 uh, hands down the best eyeliner brush ever it's just so easy to you know apply your liner you guys should definitely check it out I mean I love love it it definitely makes my life so much more easier when I'm working especially on the client on myself you guys know from my previous videos I do prefer to use just the liquid liner um, you know I get that from Sephora but on clients this is like the best thing ever Wow, look at you, Kathy, acting like a pro model here. Um, she was actually a very, very easy client to work on. You know, she's not like, you know, uh, wiggling her eyes or anything. So, yeah, look at that. How cool it is, that ring. I mean, it's so comfortable. I mean, I'm so glad that I was able to find that. Again, I got that at Express in case you're wondering. And here we are. We have a beautiful um, eyeliner, you know. Look at that, ooh, on fleek. I'm so proud of myself. Okie dokie, and so I will be applying um, some mascara on her upper lashes, and I am using a disposable wand. Uh, you always wanna make sure that you're using a disposable wand on the client. Uh, because that's just the way what you do you don't want to be using the same one on everybody like on 20 people so um, yep and the reason why I'm applying mascara even though I will be applying false lashes but this way um, I feel like then when you go back in with the falsies it's easier to kind of get them you know stick together and the lashes that I will be using on her today, it's going to be uh, Allure Lashes in Vegas Snay. And so what I do first, I'm just grabbing the lash and just without any glue, I'm applying onto her lashes just to kind of see how it fits. And uh, they are a little bit too wide. So what I'm doing, I'm grabbing some scissors and I'm trimming them. Uh, that's really very, very important thing to do when you're trying to apply lashes. Um, uh, by the way, you guys, I did record a video on how to apply falsies, you know, all about falsies, how to choose the lashes, how to trim them, how to, you know, um, all of it. So you guys should definitely check it out. And so as I fit them to her eye, I usually kind of bend them and trying to make it that they're more flexible. And then I'm grabbing some glue and the glue that I'm using is the Duo and it's the one that dries clear. And I'm just applying that to the lash line and of course I will be letting that glue uh, to get tacky for about 30 seconds or so and there we are I'm going to go ahead and place this onto her lid as much as I can as much as possible to go very very near to her lash line I'm just you know um, fixing it with uh, the, the tweezers you know trying to reinforce the sides uh, and then uh, sometimes I'm using my fingers as well for that. So there you are. Look how beautiful that looks. I love it. And then I'm going back with that wand. I'm actually, uh, I didn't put any extra product there. I'm just going back and uh, trying to um, have her own lashes uh, stick to the falsy so she doesn't look like she has two sets of eyelashes even though she does and for her foundation I will be using a Lumi cushion um, foundation by L'Oreal I totally absolutely love this uh, I've been so obsessed with this foundation and this one is in the shade N40 I'm sorry N4 and um, I am uh, taking that on a damp beauty blender I just absolutely love this guys I actually went to Walgreens the other day and they had a deal uh, buy one get one half off so definitely I stocked up on these uh, I, I'm just amazed I'm truly amazed for a drugstore foundation this is amazing because um, this is so light yet it provides such a beautiful coverage so here she is she's checking out she's just very amazed herself how you know beautiful it actually all covered up and to contour, I will be using a Maybelline uh, Fit Me Shine Free Foundation Stick. And this one is in the color 340 Cappuccino. I will be, um, you know, just applying this to for her forehead, you know, to the temples, uh, you know, to her 
cheekbones just to create that beautiful very intense contour I usually most of the times uh, especially when I'm working on the brights I use only uh, powder contouring basically you know I'll use something like you know just a powder contour or like the bronze uh, bronzer or something but um, sometimes for a little bit more of a dramatic effect I'm actually doing both so I will be uh, using uh, the wet contour and then after we're done with this I will be also using uh, a dry contour and then uh, also I'm gonna be taking a naked um, concealer and this one is in a color light I'm going to apply that to her forehead to the bridge of her nose so basically on all of the areas that I would like to highlight and this one I very very like to highlight with this because uh, this uh, concealer is actually very very lightweight uh, I mean it states that it's weightless and I can say that yes this statement is true and then I'm going to take a MAC uh, prep and prime spray and just spray it all over her face and then taking the beauty blender I'm going to blend out the um, highlight first basically the lighter color and uh, you really just want to keep dabbing on it you don't want to be moving uh, your product just kind of you know pressing into the skin I actually forgot to do the sides of her nose with that highlight so um, yep keep blending that in and then going back to the darker shades of course again you don't want to be moving the product you just pressing on and just you know blending everything nicely together all right and so I am applying let's see this one is MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in shade NW20 and I'm just using a uh, synthetic brush and this one is by Stila number 11 um, I'm, and then I'm using a Real Technique uh, brush to blend out and then I'm setting my concealer with a um, Sigma E let's see Sigma F 25 brush and I'm taking the Ben Nye luxury powder in cameo to set everything under her eyes using Sigma E21 brush I'm going to take a drama queen eyeshadow by makeup geek and take that to her uh, waterline to her lower lash line basically and then applying mascara to her lower lashes I love this mascara this one is by it the wand is actually so small and tiny so I love it and with a MAC powder blush in the color Harmony I'm going to go back and uh, reapply the powder uh, contour on all of her uh, places where I contoured previously and then I'm going to bake her face all right what a way to say it uh, with a MAC set powder uh, I'm going to go right under those area where I contoured uh, and then to highlight her uh, forehead and then after I left that on for a few minutes I went back with a big fluffy powder brush and wiped off all of the excess of that powder and then I'm going to highlight with a Laura Giller Jilted Honey highlighter using a Sigma F35 brush She's going to highlight a little bit over her brow and then of course on her nose I love to highlight the nose I think it's, it looks really really cute and flattering and then blush I will be using a Milani brush in Dolce pink it's number one and just applying that to the apples of her cheeks And I do like to go back again with a big fluffy brush and just blend everything together and then lining her lips with a um, lip liner by Mac in the color sore and then for the lipstick I will be using a uh, Milani lipstick number 26 in nude 
and I'm using a synthetic brush uh, to apply that onto her lips. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished look. I am actually very satisfied with the way how it turned out. I'm very proud of myself. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Kathy one more time for letting me do this on her. I really do think that she looks absolutely amazing. I would like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really hope that you found this uh, video useful and you were able to get some ideas maybe for your special occasion makeup. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.